Hi, and thanks for visiting Screencasting Online, where we cover the best tips, tricks, and techniques, allowing you to get the most out of your computer. Let me show you some really great customizations you can make to your Finder window. These are really falling under the category of preference, but what I would recommend is when you find a layout and a configuration for your Finder window, go ahead and do those in a way that it saves them as your default. Now the way that you do that is you manipulate your Finder window and close it. You do it as a task. If you make some changes and then open a different application, it won't remember those settings. So to start with, close your Finder windows, open up a new Finder window. Of course, there's about 18 ways to do that. At this point, the OS is listening and watching my configuration changes. And every subtle change that I make will become a saved change. So for instance, change the column width for name and I'll open up places and I'll change my toolbar by adding an icon. Now I'll close this and at this point anytime I open up a new finder window you will see all of those changes. Places is open the name column is set to this width, and the burn icon is there. Now there's some other changes you can make that are extremely useful. For instance, if you find yourself every time you open up the Finder window, clicking your desktop, or clicking applications, or clicking utilities, or in this case, I have dragged my personal folder to my left sash, then maybe that's the setting you'd like to have by default. In this case, if I close and then reopen, you'll notice that it lands on my home folder instead of personal. Let's change that. So now I'll open up my Finder Preferences, and here there's a setting on the General tab for what folder opens when the f a new Finder window is, is called. So at this point, I simply can navigate to my documents, my personal folders, click choose, and close. So before I did that, this was my default. Let's see what the default is now. And there we are, defaulting it to my personal folder exactly how I left it. I've mentioned this little pill icon a few times. The same thing happens with this one. So we can set this up nicely, close it, and now every time I open up, I get just the folders that I want to look at. If I want to change that, of course, I have all kinds of options. Expand the left sash in the toolbar with the pill button, and of course I can double click down here.